What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about what we can expect with tomorrow's weekly reset here in Destiny 2. Of course, tomorrow will be Tuesday, January the 25th. First of all, let's go over some of the items you can expect to see in the store for Bright Dust. There will be a couple of 30th anniversary emotes, uh, the Ripe Sniff and also the new uh the newer emote which was the second line emote it has only been available for silver up until this point so tomorrow will be the first time you can purchase it for bright dust also the uh one of the 30th anniversary ghost shells that was available only for silver up to this point which is that gamer shell which kind of looks like the old game boy that will be available for uh bright dust the lilac bombast uh shader which is one of the older shaders from one of the previous seasons and also some class ornaments for each individual class. So there will be a ornament for an exotic piece of gear for the Titan, the Hunter, and the Warlock. So make sure you check on each individual character to see if you would like to pick up that ornament and if you have that exotic gear that it goes with. But those will be available in store uh, for Bright Dust tomorrow as well. This week's EXO Challenge will be Safeguard. This week's uh, Empire Hunt will be the Technocrat. The Nightfall for this week will be the Devil's Lair. The two weapons available during the Devil's Lair will be the Yuzumi Sniper Rifle and the Plug One Fusion Rifle. Uh, of course, also this week, the bonus ranks will be in Gambit, which is kind of a disappointment because Gambit has been broken for majority of the player base for a really kind of long time now, several months. Uh, Gambit's just kind of unplayable for a lot of people because you get kicked out of it so often. And if you are a fan of Gambit and you were looking forward to these, uh, you know, double ranks, hopefully you're able to get in and play some. Also, this week's Crucible reset will be Team Scorched, which is probably my least favorite uh, Crucible mode. Uh, but I know some of you out there may like Team Scorched, but that will be the uh, game in the playlist this week. Also, uh, the new uh, Shattered Realm for this week will be the Debris of Dreams. The other things that are coming this week that are something that you guys might be interested in, of course, is the Dares of Eternity loot pool will be the world loot pool. So the great thing about this, there's a lot of great weapons that you can kind of get in the world loot pool. Two that I know a lot of people will be interested in is going to be the Gnawing Hunger and the main ingredient. But the best thing about this week, in my opinion, is the gear they have available. Uh, they have the Braytech and the Lost Pacific gear sets available during uh, Dares of Eternity. And these two sets are not available in the game anymore because these were all, uh, some from early on in the game. So if you're a person that likes to collect gear, that way you know you can change your gear styles in game. These are two that I'm sure most of you will want to get your hands on. And last but not least, uh, the Vault of Glass challenge this week will be the Templar challenge. And this will be for the Time Lost Fate Bringer. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this week's update, of course, for the weekly reset. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.